Many congratulations to Escan Bank and, of course, yourself uh, for the award for Best Innovation in Retail Banking, Bahrain. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Well, we are very excited and proud to get this award. It signifies the hard work and the perseverance of all the employees of Escan Bank. And it also signifies the backing we are getting from our board and our chairman, particularly the Minister of Housing. Uh, at the same time, it acts as an impetus to do even more and hopefully be here next year. We shall be back. Very well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well, very good to meet you, uh, and I'm really looking forward to having this conversation with you. Let's start with a fairly simple question. What makes Escan Bank so unique? Escan Bank means, uh, Escan means housing. So basically, we are the housing bank in Bahrain. And uh, it's unique in terms of being owned fully by the government. And uh, our preoccupation is to get as much people into decent housing as possible. And we do that through our mortgage financing programs, but also from our development uh, program. We own uh, a fully owned subsidiary, which is Scan Properties, which is our development uh, arm. And the unique thing about it is following the government strategy and mandate whereby we are to act more as a catalyst for uh, private sector participation in providing housing and housing programs and financing for the population. So what's unique is that the more our market share reduces, the more we have accomplished our uh, mission to the extent that the day when there is no need for us, it means that we have reached our ultimate uh, goal in setting uh, programs that would uh, encourage the private sector. Actually, we are competing with ourselves toward enhancing the role of other banks in financing. And there are many initiatives that we have taken that would enhance the contribution of private banks or developers in tackling the housing uh, issue in Bahrain. Now, you, that's a very specific remit, but within that remit, how would you describe your leadership style? I'm kind of a person who first leads by example and leads from the front line rather than the ivory tower issuing orders. I lead by example in terms of what is expected of the management. And uh, one of the programs that I oversaw uh, lately was to a transformational program because uh, I think we have a lot of management, but what we are looking for really is more leadership. I would describe my mission as a leader as to facilitate and empower all the employees to fulfill their full potential, to realize their full potential. And I think if we are successful in doing that, then the organization would be closer to realizing its full uh, potential. Uh, to do that, uh, you have to start with a great trust in your team, which I have. Also, employees have voice. We don't have a single issue that cannot be discussed. Everything is uh, furnished on the table clearly and openly. So I do believe in participatory uh, discussion and decision making. The benefit of which would be reaped most effectively when we come to the execution because everybody feels that it's his decision and he would assume the right kind of ownership for it. And it has uh, proven to be uh, successful. Now, you've described the bank's operation in terms of being quite specialist, operating in the property yeah. uh, area. What do you see as the kind of trends developing in Bahrain over the next three years or so in, in the property market? I think, uh, like everywhere else, we've seen a lot of uh, developments targeting the well of uh, the seaside, seafront, beachfront developments for speculative uh, purposes. 
And like everywhere else, we had our share of having a lot of fingers burnt because of that. So today people are looking, going back to the fundamentals. I think where there is a strong demand, and this mm -hmm. is the main driver for uh, the development activities. And in Bahrain, we've been successful in, in positioning social housing as being attractive and appealing through a lot of government program that subsidizes and that makes uh, wants become effective demand, uh, so to speak, of uh, the housing units. Through this various program, we started to see a lot of developers and banks actually uh, take part in programs that are to promote housing issue. And we started to see that trend whereby the real estate development or developer have social housing and affordable housing very much in demand. So we are seeing a lot of developments now that are earmarked and targeting social housing beneficiaries or who would qualify for that or affordable housing. Of course, uh, there is a very solid demand uh, mm. that would support that market. And uh, I, would, I would think that most of uh, previously supplied units I would uh, think that the private sector would be the one that would be delivering most of this unit. And behind also, I would think that there would be some uh, real estate development to cater for shopping and entertainment, which are areas still, I think the market has not fulfilled the, uh, the huge demand yet. So there is room for such development also. So collaboration and, and innovation in terms of products and services is very important to you, but what role do you think your education and, and background in industry played in developing that approach to banking services? I studied economic development uh, for my master here in East Anglia, and I did my PhD also in economics. So when I approached private sector, I approached it with a huge interest and promoting the welfare of people. So most of my engagement were or focus on value creation activities. I avoided uh, the financial acrobatic moves, so to speak, whereby people landed flat on their face and focus on activities that yielded real value and contributed toward the welfare of uh, people. Uh, I was working with the private sector previously, so again, we had to also be concerned about the profit and satisfying the shareholders. But I didn't see that there is uh, a conflict between sitting and trying to create uh, true economic values and at the same time making good money out of it. And uh, moving to Scan Bank, I think that came very, fitted very well with the mission of the bank, which is a social mission, whereby our preoccupation is to promote the socio-economic welfare of the population at large in Bahrain. And, and if we kind of pull back a little from that very unique uh, operation in Bahrain, how do the wider global uh, economic uh, impacts affect you and, and the bank's business? Actually, being a, a government-owned bank, uh, we get affected tremendously by what happens to uh, government uh, revenue. And the sharp drops in oil prices definitely have uh, affected uh, the ability of uh, the government to see through its development program, particularly the infrastructure and housing issues, which are extremely important. But I think it worked, uh, uh, we turned, like, like they said, we turned a challenge into an opportunity, uh, whereby we initiated the programs that basically try to tap the private sector resources towards social housing. Uh, landlord uh, tire program whereby landlord bring in their uh, plots and we as a bank we develop them for social housing and affordable housing. It's proving to be very popular with landowners, the huge landowners in Bahrain and they are queuing actually uh, to forge such a partnership. At the same time given how 
important is housing to people in Bahrain. And with the government being very adamant that it wants to satisfy such demand and feels the responsibility for that. So we are now pro uh, starting, we are in the early stages of a PPP program, private public uh, partnership, whereby uh, we had a couple of uh, private public partnership uh, within the country, but now we are trying to tap the international market whereby we are trying to mobilize international uh, funding for social uh, housing. Scan Bank was mandated by the cabinet to be the lead arranger, whereby we do the financial structuring of such uh, deals. We did sound the market and we found a hugely positive response. So we hope before the end of this year to conclude one and if we are a little bit lucky, maybe two deals whereby we are uh, getting partnership with international investor funds to do affordable and social housing in Bahrain. And I get the sense that you know, the bank is moving from a quite tightly focused and regulated world into one where there are more opportunities. And is this part of kind of deepening your presence in Bahrain? Uh, as, as a bank, do you yeah. think? I think, yeah, what you refer to is very true. I think uh, the government have realized over uh, the last couple of years the potential of Iskan Bank as a flexible financial arm to the government that can speak the same language with other financial institutions and bankers and uh, also demonstrating the capability to structure, forge and uh, develop programs whereby it would act as a catalyst for the private sector involvement in the social and uh, affordable housing. So yes, we would be seeing and actually we are working now toward uh, reviewing our article of association, whereby we become a little bit uh, more mature in terms of reducing our dependence on the government for funding, and whereby we will be interacting with the financial capital markets uh, based on our the strength of our balance sheet. We touched on your kind of leadership style. We've uh, heard a little about your background. What, though, do you think is your or the achievement you're proudest of since you joined the bank? Our chit-chat today, I think, uh, signifies one of the important achievements. And I don't mean by that uh, the award itself as much as what the award signifies in terms of uh, turning the bank, the culture, to become more entrepreneurial, innovative, and uh, seeing very happy crowd in the bank in the form of its employees and uh, even the customer doing exciting things, enhancing our contribution to the welfare of people of Bahrain. And, and looking forward, say, five years, what do you hope personally and, and for the bank that you will have achieved? I think we have way to go to develop programs whereby uh, uh, the private sector would bear most of the responsibility with the government and the bank facilitating its role through the various incentive scheme. Along five years, I think if we see our plan and vision through, we might be able to assume the role of a development bank which would define us in a wider spectrum rather than just a scan bank, because I think uh, there is room for us to play a role in promoting manufacturing, development, industrial for the welfare of people in Bahrain. And I hope that would be something that we'll achieve. And, and something um, we always touch on in these conversations is kind of the use of technological innovation. Yeah. And what, what's your top priority in terms of um, developing uh, technology within the bank? As we speak, we are reviewing the core banking system toward a more agile. Uh, I would like to see technology as empowering, empowering uh, people, our customers and the employees, obviously. On the development front, 
Actually, we, are, we have just uh, concluded one of the developments where people moved in and they are very happy and we are kind of benchmarking for the standard of social and affordable housing developments in Bahrain. And our mission is to, for our new kind of building, is to incorporate uh, uh, as much as green and sustainable energies. We, on, on, a, on a pilot, small uh, project whereby we have 18 villas, we introduced solar panels for the first time in Bahrain, Eskan Bank did that. And uh, we're hoping to incorporate more and more technologies, uh, especially that would be uh, cost-saving technologies in terms of a new building material, a new technology, technologies that would involve fast fabrication, of course, without compromising the uh, standard and safety and security of the uh, inhabitants. And uh, yeah, I would say green technologies would like to play a role in, uh, again, benchmarking for green developments in Bahrain. Now, bizarrely, uh, in many ways, the, the whole focus of the bank is, is about kind of social welfare. Yeah. Um, yet you do have some CSR initiatives as well. And uh, what are you actively involved in at the present uh, in terms of CSR projects? Yeah, I think uh, one of the most exciting thing for me and satisfying tremendously is that uh, the preoccupation of the bank itself is a CSR. We are not like, uh, for example, uh, without mentioning names, international conglomerate who's, who's ruining the environment and then coming with a CSR propaganda, I would say. Just uh, to add this part of the guilt feeling. Our involvement entirely is within CSR, socially responsible. And there is nothing more CSR than trying to accommodate for the needy families, their accommodation. But in addition to that, of course, we do a lot of extras. For example, we have uh, sponsored an award with uh, engineering college in the University of Bahrain, which is Iskan Bank Award for a Creative Innovative Engineering. And uh, we are using this as a platform whereby we try to educate and create awareness for various important issues and we found it it's best to tackle it with the young engineers toward their graduation and that they will be spreading, uh, so to speak. So in the first year, we looked at uh, socio-economic sustainability of housing development, whereby we are interested in creating positively energized uh, communities that create jobs and to promote, uh, have a positive vibe in interaction between the residents rather than just uh, cubicle pigeonholes. That can be a source of frustration and uh, promote uh, crime. That was our first, and now we are moving forward with uh, this uh, program. Uh, and uh, of course, the employees of the bank they are very active in fundraising for various good causes of uh, tackling various uh, needy groups. It is part of our DNA, actually, as a corporate. I think the most uh, interesting thing about uh, the bank, in many ways, is the, your final measure of success is when you don't need to do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, while a lot of, uh, and this is part of the uniqueness, while a lot of banks are always having strategies to grow and uh, become bigger and bigger, I think the KPI for our mission, how successful we are, is how much less needed we are. And uh, when we are fully successful, maybe it's the time that we don't, uh, there's no need for us to exist. And because we, rather than compete with other banks, we are promoting other banks. And uh, this is part of the strategy that's set to us by the government and our board of directors and our chairman who is the Minister of Housing and who has been the uh, real force behind us in terms of uh, opening up the space 
for us to move and provide the necessary backing always. Very good. This is a fascinating story and it's been a great pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank it you. It was my pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Thank you.